But who else are the real Shemites? There are other anti-Zionist, non-Ashkenazi, Torah-keeping Jews worldwide that are the true Shemites. Just like the Yemenite Jews and the black African Shemites. And I most probably shouldn't go here, but I will anyway. You see, after the destruction of the temple, yes, many of the Jews, the poor Jews, remained in the land. But there was a migration as well of the more affluent Jews to Yemen and to other parts of Africa. Other parts of Africa. You see, the black African Shemites were actually then taken away in slave ships. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And who were the owners of these slave ships? Who were the biggest slavers in the 16th century? The Ashkenazi were the biggest slavers in the 16th and 17th century. Going into the 18th century. You see, Ashkenazi slaving was huge. This is from, I have to be careful when I say this, so my sources, it's always best to go with Jewish sources, right? Because you just just trod on a bunch of toes. So we'll go with the Jewish sources. There's a ton of sources out there, but I'll stick with the Jewish ones because that's just safer. The Jewish scholar Jonathan Shorshek says this, Jewish merchants routinely possessed enormous numbers of slaves temporarily before selling them off. If a slave auction fell on a Jewish festival, it was postponed due to lack of buyers and sellers. The Jews of Suriname gave their slave plantations Hebrew names such as Machanaim, Nachamu, and Goshen. Rabbi Herbert Bloom adds that the slave trade was one of the most important Jewish activities. In 1694, Jews owned 9,000 African Shemites. Jewish slaving is in fact confirmed by the Jewish encyclopedia. So in the days that we live, there's nothing more important than this Malki Zedek message to the true Shemites. Because this Malki Zedek message of the true Shemites is the solution. It is the solution to the Palestinian problem. It is the solution to the Black Lives Matter that is being fermented by the synagogue of Satan. It is the solution to racial tensions, segregation that is all part of the synagogue of Satan's plot for Yahweh's people to fight amongst themselves based upon the color of our skin. That is ridiculous, but that is what they want so that we keep our minds off of them as the true slavers of Yahweh's people. When we all realize who's behind this racial and political fermentation, the synagogue of Satan, and when we join the priesthood together as Joseph's coat, we're victorious Then we're victorious over the New World Order slavers, their Luciferic, Levitical perversion. You see, they're obsessed with blood. They're obsessed with their own blood, and they're obsessed with your blood. But they're not obsessed with Yahusha's blood. 